compound interest. This is a topic which is really likely to come up in our paper three, since it still hasn't come up in paper one or two. Let's have a look at this problem solving example. Pause the video and see if you can figure out how to do it. The question says that Nawabi invests £6,000 for five years. We're told that the investment gets compound interest of X percent per annum, and at the end of the five years, the investment is worth £8,029.35. Then we're asked to work out the value of X, which is our interest rate as a percentage. Guys, what are we going to do? Step number one, let's write out our compound interest formula. We know that our end amount A is going to be equal to our initial amount I times by 1 plus r, where r is our interest rate as a decimal, raised to the number of time periods. So we can say that our initial amount, which is £6,000, times by 1 plus our interest rate r as a decimal, raised to the power of number of time periods. Well, here we're investing for five years, so we get that interest rate five times, is equal to 8000 and 29 pounds and 35 pence. Now what we can do guys is rearrange this equation to find R and then we can times R by 100 to get X, which is gonna be our answer as a percentage. So how do we do that? Step number one, let's divide both sides by 6,000. So I'm gonna type into the calculator, 8,029.35 divided by 6,000. That is gonna give me one plus R to the power of five is equal to 1.33825. And then to isolate the R, well, at the moment it's in brackets and it's being raised to the power of five. So I'm going to do the fifth root of both sides. I'm going to type that into the calculator, the fifth root of my answer. So typing in the fifth root and then I'm going to hit the answer button. Answer and we're going to get 1.059999. So 1.06 to two decimal places. Now we can subtract one from both sides. We're going to get R is equal to 0 0.06. And finally, converting this into a percentage because X is our interest rate as a percentage. We're going to times it by 100 to give us X is equal to six. And that is going to be our interest rate as a percentage. So what we did was we wrote out all of our information in the compound interest formula, rearranged to find the value of R, and then multiplied it by 100 to get our interest rate as a percentage.